middle school student caught with a weapon on a DeKalb County school campus is taken into police custody. Tonight, one of the school's teachers has an urgent warning for parents. Fox 5 George Franco joins us now live from outside that middle school tonight. George, school officials say another student tipped them off about the weapon. Absolutely, Tom, and the school was giving a lot of credit to this observant student, and this teacher here says he wants what other people want, safety at the campus, after a student was taken into custody after a weapon was found on campus. I decided to teach you, be a teacher because it's hard. It's difficult. Ian Kellen tells me teaching is a challenge he tries to meet head on as a sixth, seventh, and eighth grade music teacher at McNair Middle School, where Tuesday morning, according to school officials, a student was taken into custody with a weapon. It's, it's a ton of children coming on in, so I, I don't know more than the fact that he came to school with a weapon. The school district tells Fox 5 News an observant student told an administrator about a weapon being on campus. That administrator, we're told, called a school police resource officer then district officials say a weapon was located in a book bag in a classroom shortly after that the district says the officer took the student who owns the book bag into custody school police uh, the administration they all came down on it really really quickly and I congratulate them uh, on a job really well done the school sent a letter home to the parents part of it encouraging students to come forward if ever faced with a similar situation Kellen says he doesn't know where the boy who was arrested got the weapon but had this message for all parents of school age kids. Please keep an eye on the students. I know that you've got a long hours of work, but when you come home, make sure that you know who your student's talking to. Make sure that you know who your child's talking to. The school district says weapons of any type have no place in our schools or facilities. This incident is under investigation and upon its conclusion, DCSD will respond appropriately to ensure a safe and healthy learning environment. As a father, Kellen says he tries to understand the challenges of that school environment where he he wants to make a difference with the help of parents. Come to the school, talk with the teachers. Uh, we don't have nearly enough people on parent conference night. So this teacher says involvement is a big key. The school district has not indicated what their next plan of action is for the student who was taken into custody. We will keep you posted now.